Yeah. And guess what, Mr. H? Tagged out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> So there we have it, new location for our next day, it's uh, day 13 and we flew into this new camp yesterday after retrieving Wildy's bear that he shot the previous night. Um, that was a pretty epic adventure, digging through the alders and finally pulling out a really nice decent sized boar, very pretty, long in the face, decent body size, lovely pelt. Uh, so here we are now in caribou country, uh, we've seen quite a few up on the hillside last night uh, over on my right shoulder and then this morning there's some that have come up the valley uh, over on the left there so uh, there's plenty of animals around um, and it's just a matter now of getting into them this is camp here just on that side there so now we're in caribou country and that's the plan see if we can um, get a couple of caribou down this next couple of days and for hopefully find a grizz on the carcasses once we've done it for he introduce his grizz and then that's pretty much it tagged out so all is good all is good we'll keep you posted catch you in a bit now i've seen some views in my time but this ranks right up there with the best of them beautiful bright conditions and clear visibility allow us to scour the hillsides in pursuit of our caribou there are plenty of animals below us in front of camp but none meet the minimum requirements for harvest so we must move deeper into the valley From this ridge, the entire valley opens up in front of us and we spot a couple of mature bulls that are legal to harvest. There's this one, and then there's another one that's yeah. longer. Yeah. He doesn't have quite so many... He doesn't have a palm at the top, but he's got like a saw, it, saw blade across the top. But it was steel. There's this one, and the other one's longer, but doesn't have the kind of palmation at the top. We take the time to check out all of the options but the opportunity of these bulls so close together gets us thinking. There's an older bull chasing cows and the younger trophy bull is grazing high on the ridge. Oh, look at that. But they are not the only animals out grazing today. Wildy's eagle eyes have spotted a beautiful mountain grizzly feeding on a berry patch high on the side of the mountain. He's a mature boar and we now have a dilemma. Do we take the bear or the opportunity to double tag the caribou? We move further down the valley to assess the options. After a little deliberation, we opt to go for the caribou. But as we move forward to make our final approach, the ground drops away into a deep canyon with near vertical sides. Frustratingly, we can see the bulls calmly grazing on the far side, but we need to find another approach. Then all of a sudden... Oh, he's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down. What do we do, crossing it onto that ridge? We can get to that right there. We're golden, that's 75 yards. Yeah. The grizzly bear is now on a collision course with our current position. We move quickly to get set up, ready for the shot. Within no time, the grizz is in the meadow below us and I have just moments to make the shot. Steve backs me up immediately with both shots connecting perfectly. But these are tough animals. I follow up with a running shot and the boar is down. Oh, buddy, that's how it works, my man. 
good stuff. It's good stuff. Like, he phenomenal. is some bear. He was grazing up on the berries, right up on the side of the mountain there. He didn't look like he was coming down. And then all of a sudden, down he comes. He makes his way down. He makes, he cleared some serious ground to get down here, yeah. four or 500 yards in the space of a couple of minutes. Uh, the caribou that we were stalking into, They've not moved a muscle. They haven't moved uh, at all, so they're still over there. In they fact, still I think another happy. younger bull's come and joined the two that we were after. Yeah, maybe they were admiring the show. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what it was. They're like fireworks. Uh, so as you would have seen there, myself and Steve had an agreement when we're coming to hunt dangerous game, it's really important uh, that we put those anchoring shots in and that we take the bear down as quickly and as humanely as possible. It's better for the animal and it's also much safer for us. I'd recommend anybody out there, if you are hunting wilderness, you are hunting big game in dangerous game country, whether it's a moose, whether it's caribou or even the bear itself, always make sure you put those insurance shots in. It's just the right thing to do. Uh, I hear too many stories of people who nearly got a bear or who nearly got an elk uh, who didn't put that shot in, too busy admiring their handiwork uh, and then didn't put the animal down humanely as it needs to happen. But overall so far, fantastic hunt. Yeah, it's been a fantastic trip. And we're not finished yet. Good. No, we're still going, we're still going. So after the unexpected excitement of the grizz, we leave Tony to start skinning out the bear and make our approach to the two caribou bulls, which are still calmly grazing on the far wall of the valley. With the bulls a little over 400 yards away, we have plenty of time to get set up. This is where the long range shooting skills training with Andrew Venables at WMS Firearms Training really pays off. Ian. Yeah. Can we take him already? Great, great. I've got him. Okay, mate. <laughs> we both hit him at the same time. Well, there you have it. That's how you kill two bulls in one day. 400 yards, saw two beautiful bulls earlier on. One was a nice trophy. The other one is a magnificent older boy, you know, really deep in the main, really long beams. And yeah, we took the opportunity. Not often we both get to shoot at the same time in this wilderness country, but yeah, we have. So, my one aimed a little high in the shoulder, uh, so took it straight down, straight off its feet. That's the great thing about shooting 225 grain 338 Hornady Superformance SSTs. Uh, they're pile drivers. Uh, Steve's hit it nicely in the shoulder, but these animals are tough. Uh, so, wobbled a few feet up the hill. Took us a while to find the range. Obviously, leading an animal that's walking can be difficult over 400 yards. You need to give it a little bit more lead than you'd normally expect. But then he stopped, gave us both a chance, and we we shot simultaneously and there's no getting up from 405 grains of Hornady Sea Performance SST. So an, an epic day, beautiful grizz, a fabulous morning and sunshine here in the valley. Lots of different options for us to choose from as well. It wasn't really clear cut which way we were going to go, uh, but I'm glad that we went this way because we've got all three animals. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got a grizzly bear to skin out. We've got two um, beautiful uh, caribou to pack out. That'll take the rest of the day, probably all of tomorrow as well. I think I've got it in me. Man, right? Oh, you, you hear it. You, you know it, buddy. Good stuff. Right, let's get to work. <coughs> nice shooting, thanks. Yeah, and you, bud. That'll do. Well done. Good shooting. So here we have him, my first ever Alaska Barren Grand Caribou. It's been a real privilege being able to hunt him. You know, I want to say thank you to Wildy for letting me take the shot. You know, he was in the chair and then he decided that he was going to let me take this one, so I really appreciate that. But yeah, it's been a great morning. You know, we've taken a beautiful grizzly bear. But this really for me is, you know, is a, the highlight of the trip. This, this animal is, is nothing short of magnificent. Well, congratulations, mate. Cheers, buddy. Second half of the double T. I'm talking to Blaza R8 and 300 Win Mag. The first shot was a little bit low, I think. Trademark Wildy, and we sort of put the double hammer on him together, fired at the same times, and um, that put an end to him. Yeah, Amazing. he's a magnificent old he's bull. He's so thick down here. He's a big old boy. So pleased. Once again, we divide into work parties and set about the tasks at hand. Wildy and Mark start skinning and butchering the caribou, whilst I head back to Tony to help skin and pack out the grizz. Whilst our mystery ranch backpacks have provided incredible service for the trip, Mark's Alaska Gear frame pack is the ideal tool to pack out meat and skins.
The patch of permafrost above camp doubles up as a makeshift refrigerator to keep our meat and skins fresh. As the sun descends behind the mountains, we reflect on a once-in-a-lifetime day in the wilderness and look forward to another busy day of packing ahead.